I'm a big sci-fi geek, astronomy. The last time we had a lunar eclipse, it happened at 3 in the morning. And I'm watching it through my window, and my roommate comes up. He starts knocking on the window. He's like, come outside, the view's better. I'm thinking we're 250,000 miles away from the moon. <laughs> 10 feet closer, how much better the view going to be? <laughs> it's like being at the last row of a football game, moving down one row and saying, wow, great seats. <laughs> I'm a big football fan, but I hate bandwagon fans. You know what I'm talking about, bandwagon fans. Last year when the Cardinals made the Super Bowl, I had never seen a Cardinal fan in my life until the Super Bowl. I mentioned that in Arizona, this guy jumped on the stage, he got mad. He's yelling at me, he's like, I'm a diehard Cardinal fan, I've been a Cardinal fan my whole life. He was 12. <laughs> he's like, I'm a diehard fan, because I even bleed red. He got me there. <laughs> I recently wanted to buy a new watch, which is crazy. I bought a pilot's watch, and I'm afraid to fly. And people always tell me, Hark, you're 100 times more likely to die in a car crash than a plane crash. I don't care. I'm afraid to fly. And when I'm, ringing up, when I'm paying for my watch and it's getting rung up, the clerk's getting all excited. She goes, oh, sir, you must be a pilot. And I said, no, but you never know. You might have to hijack an airplane. <laughs> Bad joke. I shouldn't have said it. I know what I look like. <laughs> I've seen myself in the mirror at the airport and I scared myself. <laughs> Actually, ever since 9-11, people have been a little afraid of me. And I don't blame them. I'm just glad 9-11 didn't happen two months earlier. Can you imagine how they look like if it happened on 7-Eleven? <laughs> I look so much like a terrorist, El Qaeda tried to recruit me one time. I told the guy, I can't help you guys out, I'm afraid to fly. He goes, that's okay. You're 100 times more likely to die in a car bombing than a plane hijacking. <laughs> there are benefits of looking this way. I can always get a cab. <laughs> Southwest Airlines, no assigned seating. No one ever wants to sit by me. Sometimes I'm in row seven, everyone else is in the back of the plane sitting three wide. There's men sitting in men's laps. The pilot's back there. One time there was a girl sitting next to me, though she was scared. She was almost crying. I was like, I gotta do something to help her out. So I pulled out my phone and pretended like I was calling someone where I was going and said, hey baby, I miss you, I love you. We'll finally be together again, they hang up. And she got a smile on her face. It's like, oh, that was so nice of you, calling your wife or your girlfriend. I said, yeah, that was my wife. She died two years ago. 